Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Coronatics and in today's video we're going to be checking out this problem, divisibility by 8 from the code forces round 302 for division 2. You are given a non-negative integer n, its decimal representation contains at most 10 digits and doesn't contain any leading zeros. Your task is to determine if it is possible in this case to remove some of the digits, possibly not removing any digit at all, so that the result contains at least one digit, forms a non-negative integer, doesn't have leading zeros, and, last but not least, is divisible by 8. After removing, it is forbidden to rearrange the digits. If a solution exists, you should print it. So the input is a single line. Uh, the single line of the input contains non-negative integer n. The representation of the number n doesn't contain any leading zeros, and its length doesn't exceed 100 digits. You are to print no within, without quotes if there is no such way to remove some digits from the number of n, and otherwise print yes, and then print the resulting number, which is divisible by 8. So let's take a look at how to solve this problem. So suppose we had a number like 3, 4, 5, 4. Well, first off, um, the obvious, if we have the number 8 present anywhere, then we can simply choose that number 8 and erase everything else. So for instance, if we had 1, 8, 7, I could just cancel out this 1 and this 7 and be left with 8. So if there is an 8 at all anywhere, then we could choose that. But the uh, slightly subtle thing is that if there was a 0, we could also choose the 0. For example, in 10, I could choose the 10. And just take, uh, or I could choose the 0 and just, just take the 0. Right? So there's that. Now let's take a look at some things. So in this, um, let me thicken that up. In this number right here, we have three, four, five, four. But if you take a look, if you take a look at the digits three, four, four, you'll notice that three, four, four divided by eight is forty-three. It's divisible. But what if I had something like two six? or 2, 6, 3, 4, 5, 4. What if I had something like this? I could, I could definitely choose 2, 3, 4, 4 as a number, right? I could choose 2, 3, 4, 4, and that would give me 293, that is divisible by 8, or, or 200, that would give me 2, 3, 4, 4 divided by 8 is 293, hence that's divisible. But I could also just choose 3, 4, 4. The point I'm trying to get at here is, if a number, if, if I have a number k with uh, more than 10 digits, or, or more than, uh, sorry, more than 3 digits, base 10, I can just take the last 3 digits of k, and uh, that's going to be divisible by 8. In fact, that's the divisibility rule for 8. Divisibility rule for 8, right? The last three digits of a number are divisible by 8, then the number is completely divisible by 8. So if we have some number here which is divisible by 8 in our total, um, in our total k, in our total number n, then we can just take the last three digits of that um, subset number, and that is also divisible by 8. So really, we never have to check more than three digits. I have to just check 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 4 and 454. Four. And once I find, find any match, um, any subset that is divisible by 8, I can use that subset. So let's take a look on how to code that. So we're going to include uh, bit slash std c++.h and using namespace std int main uh, string s and s that's going to give us our input. And then I'm going to say, um, first, we'll take a look through all the one-digit numbers. So, for car C and S, if C minus 0, right? And that's going to give me uh, the number at that car. I could definitely also do... Um, string to int or something like that, or just convert it to an int, but this is probably the better way to do it. Um, percent 8, 
This is a modulus symbol. This essentially tells me if this is equal to zero, then I have divisibility. It is. It can also be thought of as the remainder function. So if that condition is true, then I sout C or sout yes C return. All right, so that handles if it's one digit. Now what if it's two digits? This is going to be a bit harder. I'm going to say for int i is equal to zero. i is less than s dot size. i plus plus. For int j is equal to i plus one. j is less than s dot size. j plus plus. Right? So we iterate. And given this conditionality, uh, or the, these, these loops, we can just check. We can say int l is equal to i minus uh, s of i minus 0 times 10 plus s of j minus 0. And so essentially, this will take, if I had 2, 5, 4, and I was choosing 2 and 4, that would give me uh, 2 times 10 plus 4, which is equal to 24. So we have that. We have in L is equal to that. We say if L percent 8 is equal to 0, so yes slash n, L slash n, and return. Oh, and we have to return 0. And then lastly, we do the same thing, but we have another loop. 4 int k is equal to j plus 1. k is less than s dot size k plus plus, right? Then we multiply this by 100 instead. This one we multiply by 10, and we add s of k minus 0. And if l percent 8, yada yada yada. There we go. And otherwise, we saw no slash. All right, let's take a look and see if this works. And for that, we're going to use their custom invocation. So here we go. Let's paste this in there and test it out on that input. Yes, 48. Hmm. Looks like something's gone wrong there when we say yes, 48. It's, it seems to me that we have made a typo. Yeah, so that 10 case works. Let's make sure that this case also works. Yes, 344. Four, perfect. And this case should give me a no. Perfect. So let's copy this. Um, and we will submit code. And submit. And it's accepted. Yes, so that was problem C, divisibility by 8 from the Code Forces round 306, division 2. Here's the problem code one more time, just to recap. We took in our input, checked if any one digit, one digit subsequence is divisible by 8, then checked if any two-digit subsequence is divisible by 8, then checked if any three-digit subsequence is divisible by 8. And if none of them worked, we outputted no, because we know that any four-digit or above sequence must also have a three-digit sequence which is divisible by 8, namely the last three digits of the four-digit sequence. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please do not forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down in the comment section below letting me know what you guys want to see next. It really means a lot to me, and it also gives me a guidance on what you guys are interested in. And yeah, with that, I'll catch you all in another video.